Recently, I uploaded a video on my channel about the X-Player Lite emulator, and it received over 2K plus views. After seeing such a significant number of views, I thought, why not provide you with a similar emulator? So after doing weeks of research, I finally found an emulator that not only closely resembles X Player Lite, but also has the same system requirements. The most exciting part is that this emulator doesn't require you to adjust any settings because it will automatically adapt to your PC specifications. So, even if you have 1 GB of RAM, a single core processor, or no graphics card, you can still use this emulator without any lag. Towards the end of the video, I'll demonstrate playing Free Fire, so make sure to watch the video until the end. Let's start the video. If you've been following me since day one, you know that before diving into the installation process, I always show my PC specs so that any doubts regarding the system requirements of any emulator can be cleared. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 J's processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. You'll find the download link for this file in the description below. The size of the file is 256 MB and it's a zip file. Simply right-click on it and click on Extract Files. It will ask for a password, just enter the password. and within a few seconds, your zip file will be extracted. After extraction, you'll see a setup file. Launch the setup, and a similar interface will appear. Click on the Next button, accept the terms and conditions, and click Next. In the next step, choose a directory for the emulator. Click on Install, and it will take two to three minutes to complete. Click on Finish. Many people might think it's stuck at 99%, but let me clarify that it takes two to three minutes to load at 99%. After the loading is complete, a user guide will appear. Click through it and close it. Now, let's talk about how you can install games on it. You can use the Play Store, or you can click on a button within the emulator to install games. Let me quickly install Free Fire and test it. You might be experiencing a bit of lag due to my screen recorder. Overall, I really like this emulator. Please let me know what you think in the comments. If you face lag with this emulator, I recommend trying the cloud emulator. If you want a tutorial, click on the video on the left.